the start of bike night in downtown Royal Oak, Michigan. Chances are you have a weekly event just like this one in your hometown. So tell me, do you get out with the crowd and put on your leathers, show off your tattoos and make a little noise? I have to admit, I never have. I haven't felt like I'm part of this crowd. But then God introduced me to a ponytail wearing, leather clad, fully tattooed, motorcycle riding child of his from Finland. My name is Pompe J. Beck and uh, I'm going to tell you my God story. I have not always been a believer. I, uh, my mom gave me a wave when I was born and uh, I came to a good home, but all those years when I was a child, I, I uh, was thinking about who I am, where do I come from, and I, uh, I feared death. I was a scared little child. On the outside, everything looked good, but uh, on the inside, I was very scared. So at the age of 12, I started to drink alcohol. At 16, I was an alcoholic. In 1995, I started to tour with uh, different rock bands. Uh, played with some members from uh, Leonard Skinner, Molly Hatchet, Whitesnake. And uh, I started to drink more. I started to use drugs. And uh, all those years, uh, I was living in fear. And uh, I had a friend who told me about Jesus. And uh, I always rejected Jesus because I didn't want to have anything to do with Jesus. Because if you look, look like me, the religious people, they will uh, point fingers at you. They will uh, tell you names and they will judge you because of your outside. So I didn't like Christians. I uh, hated them. I, uh, I was drinking three big bottles of vodka every day. And I was shaking. I was throwing up blood. And I was a mess. I called my friend up. And he told me that today was the day I was going to give my life to Jesus. And uh, at that point, he had been uh, ministering to me and praying for me for 16 years. So uh, everything he had spoken into my life, he had told me about Jesus, came to my mind. And I knew that Jesus is Lord and I need to give my life to him. So, but uh, I didn't want to go to church and uh, ended up drinking again after three months. And uh, this time I became uh, really sick and uh, my eyes were getting yellow and I knew it was serious because I had, I had been studying medical books and uh, things because I was a hypochondriac and I thought I had everything for many years. Which led to some humorous moments that Pontus recounts and, uh, in his ministry times today. One day I was standing in line to uh, something uh, similar to 7-Eleven in Finland. And I felt my uh, fingers on my left arm go cold and numb. And I had been reading, I had been studying, so I knew it was a heart attack. So I put on a show in there, thought I was going to die, but I didn't realize that I was standing with my hand in an ice cream box. <laughs> Here comes Thomas J. back to the big hospital in Boston, Finland, and they asked, Mr. Back, what's your problem today? I have problems with my Colombian shoes. <laughs> but when Pontus did have yellow eyes, he knew that was no laughing matter. In January 2007, I was all yellow. And uh, I decided to give church a try. And I was scared going there because I thought that they were going to judge me and they were going to call me names. 
So we got to this small countryside church and they didn't have a meeting, but some people showed up. Regular people, there were no priests, no popes, no bishops, no pastors, regular believers. And when I thought they was gonna start to judge me, they laid hands on me and they started to pray. And that's when uh, I started to cry. That night, Pontus decided to follow Jesus, and he was set free from alcoholism. A few months later, he was baptized. But in between, he was still very sick. Hospitalized with cirrhosis of the liver, doctors told him then he was going to die. So that same night, I woke up 2 o'clock in the morning, and uh, there was a shadow of a man in the room. He spoke to me and he said, when you get up from this bed, go out and tell all the people about me and about your life. Tell the young people about the dangers and help people with the same problems that you have had. So now, Pontus spends about half of each year on the road. And, uh, my name is Pontus J. Bat. I'm from uh, Finland. And I happen to be in the neighborhood, so uh, I'm going to do two songs for you. The first one is called It's a Miracle. Because it's a miracle I'm here today, because without Jesus, I would be dead. As a member of Ambassadors for Christ Motorcycle Ministry and his own television show, Life in Him, he travels around his native Finland and from there to much of Europe, Africa, and the U.S., teaching, praying, and singing about Jesus, who not only restored his life, but ended his fear of death.